Hello, it's Blue Orange 22. So let's talk about car insurance, and specifically how men pay more for car insurance than women do. Now it's kind of common knowledge that male drivers pay more for insurance than female drivers do, and it may not seem like a very big issue, but in my opinion, it's underestimated as an issue and the potential effects and consequences it can have. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I think this is really unfair and why this might be having a bigger economic burden on men than people may realize. So the higher insurance rates for males is especially prominent in the younger age groups, which is what I'm going to be focusing on in this video. When I go over these numbers, imagine a young guy making minimum wage, struggling to survive, paying his bills, living paycheck to paycheck, month to month, etc. Uh, I put a link to this in the description below. You can see it says, the average teenage male driver pays approximately 14% more for car insurance than does a teen female driver, reflecting the risk exhibited by young male drivers. Between the ages of 20 and 24, male drivers pay 8% more than do their female counterparts. So firstly, let's talk about the justification given for charging young men more. As you saw in the article, yes, it's true that young male drivers are statistically more likely to get in accidents. But it's not like they're only being punished after the fact when they get into an accident. They're charged more even from the very beginning. Right from the start, a young male automatically pays more for car insurance just because he's a male. And even if he never gets into a car accident, he still has to pay more just because of his gender. The other thing to wonder is this. What if it was the other way around? What if the genders were reversed? What if statistically it was young women who are more likely to get into accidents? Do you think this would be accepted the other way around? If young women were charged more than young men for car insurance, even if they did get in more accidents, do you think feminists would say, oh, well that's fair because they get more accidents? Or do you think they would say, well, that's not fair because that's a generalization, not all women are more dangerous, you're punishing us automatically, etc. But because it happens to young men, everyone kind of accepts it. Now, this is a chart showing the differences in rates. The darker line is male, the lighter line is female. Uh, and as you can see, it's a rather significant difference. This is over a six month premium. If you're 16 years old, you're paying $500 more as a male driver. If you're 20 years old, you're paying $300 more as a male driver. Even at 24, when the gap narrows a little bit, you're still paying $100 more as a male driver. But the difference can be anywhere from as little as 100 to as much as 500, usually averaging around $300. Now, if you're someone who's earning minimum wage, or let's say your parents or a single parent is earning minimum wage, that difference can add up very quickly. I mean, just think about how expensive it is to live. Things like rent, especially in a city like LA, where rent is so expensive. You have bills, water, heating, electric, grocery money, health insurance, health care. It's expensive to live. And if you're earning minimum wage, you're already struggling month to month. Those few extra hundred dollars can make a big difference and be a big burden. But one of the biggest differences of all that car insurance might make is not even being able to drive at all. Imagine if someone has a minimum wage job and they barely have enough money for their rent and food every month. The additional money for car insurance that a male might have to pay might push his budget over the edge where he now can't afford to drive whatsoever because it's illegal to drive without insurance. And not having a car can significantly limit someone's economic opportunities. If you get a job offer and it's too far away because you can't drive, you lose the opportunity to take that job. That could have a long-term effect of basically never being able to save enough money to actually buy a car or get a bigger place or kind of move up the economic ladder. And you can kind of be stuck there for the rest of your life. So it may seem like a small thing, but charging a young man more for car insurance can have a long-term ripple effect. Now, one last thing. 
Some people might defend this by saying, well, it's fair that men have to pay more for car insurance because of the wage gap, because they earn more money. But as I've been covering in the Young Male Crisis series, this is no longer true. And today, young men are economically behind young women. They're less likely to go to college. They're actually earning less money. They're more likely to be unemployed. And overall, they're economically behind. So right now, if you're a male under 25, you're economically disadvantaged. So it's extra unfair to make you pay more for car insurance.